This is Bright145 and welcome back to My Life History Part 3. Domination. Now, Year 10, last episode, the end of last episode, wasn't all bad. I mean, yeah, okay, you've received the worst news you possibly could with one of your closest family members. But, at the end of the day, there were some good times as well. Not even at school, there were some good times, I mean. I was assistant referee, or quote unquote linesman for the school, staff versus students, I think. And my PE teacher at the time recommends me to take a refereeing course. So I do. And to this day, I'm still a qualified football referee. And. I wouldn't say football refereeing is character building, it's just. You just have to have a strong, strong frame of mind and integrity and all of that shit. Easy enough. <coughs> but anyway, so... We received the worst news possible, yeah. And um, my girlfriend, actually, at the time, was in Spain. Called me. Called me from Spain when I was back in England and asked how I was feeling and everything. That sort of lightened it up ever so slightly, but not massively. You, you don't ever recover from abuse like that. No matter how, how, how much people say that, they're fine. People don't recover from that shit. Not when they're close. I don't believe they recover when they're distant either, but oh well. So then we move on to year 11. This was my final year of school school. Um, so, I turned 16. Um, very early in the year, my birthday's in September, so... I have a party, as you do. And my shoot, my, my accuracy, yeah, shoot. Um, so we have a party. And around October, November, me and my girlfriend break up. Um, that was my fault. I, I shouldn't have let go and given up, but oh well. <coughs> you learn from life's mistakes. You learn more from mistakes and errors than you do getting things right. So, yeah. Year 11 wasn't a very <coughs> interesting, eventful year, really. Um, I know. I know I didn't revise at all for my GCSE exams at the end of the year. I should have done, but I didn't. I was happy playing video games and shit, but oh well. <laughs> That's how pro I am. I passed them all, but average passes, not good passes, which is what disappointed me. Eight C's and four B's instead of maybe six or seven B's and a couple of A's. That was predicted A's. And the bees were in fucking retarded subjects as well. Bees were in geography, physics, German and French. <laughs> but oh well. Um so now we 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 apply for sixth form and they would want bees in the subjects you wanna do. And I wanted to do stuff like PE, human biology, um psychology, stuff like that. And I failed. I failed my GCSE. No, I didn't fail my GCSEs because we know I passed them. I failed my A-levels. Um, year 12 wasn't the most eventful year. All I did was bunk lessons and have I once had a life-changing argument with my dad, but not an argument with my dad nonetheless. And that argument ended up with me, um, leaving. Uh, I've had arguments with my dad before, maybe not as serious as me wanting to move out, but... Yeah, I, I moved out and where I am now is my nan, so... I still talk to my dad and stuff, don't get me wrong. I mean, you, you can't... Um, just, he's my dad, you can't just not talk to him, ever. 
I know she's been that much of a dickhead to you. Yeah, I'll say he has been a very big dickhead, but... Not to the extent of never ever talking to him again. And... Other arguments with my dad have been stuff like moving house and... I was actually adamant that I was not moving house unless it was still local. I eventually got my own way. So... Yeah. Now this is pretty much the end of my life history. There's one more chapter which I'll, I'll cover now. So we failed my A-levels. We actually go stupidly um, want to um, excuse that noise. I just dropped a screw I think. Um, yeah we ended up... Um, I ended up wanting to reset the year. <laughs> stupidly. So I um, asked to reset the year, they say no. They recommend we go to a, a college college instead, study a BTEC or a more vocational subject. I do that. And it's where I am now, studying a level 3 um, BTEC in Sport and Exercise Science. Extended Diploma. Multiple confirmed kills, nice so, work. Yeah. Now, um... That's my life history done. Um, so, this is obviously Nuke 249. And I did say I'd do a nine man ground war party for Nuke 250. When I'm going to do that, I don't know. The best um, way to probably get a hold of me, if you wanted to uh, find out about it, would be my Twitter. If if you have it, I'm not going to force you to download and install and whatever Twitter. If you don't have it, you don't want it, fine by me, I'll find another way of saying, by the way, my um, open lobby will be this day. So, we'll see. I don't really want to upload a video to uh, say. I don't know. We'll, we'll, I'll decide. And I never get one shot with the striker. It's really depressing. But yeah, so by the time this will be up, it'll probably be Wednesday. Maybe. It might be up Tuesday. I'll decide. But. We'll see. I don't know. I just want to get this over and done with. I don't really, because I enjoy getting nukes. And I haven't got another nuke since. Just for the benefit of all you guys. And the potentials to join my, um... Open lobby. And no matter how many times I try, the file... file gimps out here. The, um... Sound is now officially screwed up, no matter how many times I've tried um, fixing it, doing whatever I can to the file, deleting it, moving it, renaming it. It is that point now where it skipped me planting the claymore that the sound becomes unsynced. So for the remainder of the gameplay, the sound is going to be unsynced. But I think. If you are friends with me on Steam, you could always ask me when the open lobby is going to be. I'm not going to say it's going to be at this time or this time or this time yet, because I don't know. Now here we go. That corner camping pro. <laughs> um, but I think... I'm tempted just to do the open lobby at a weekend. It's more convenient, I think, for everyone. But weekends are difficult for me at the moment because of obviously my cricketing commitments. Um, so I might try and do like a Wednesday or a Thursday. But I'm not. Um, I haven't decided yet. I'll definitely give at least two or three days notice because that's just. Only fair. If I can give a week's notice, I definitely will. But I miss getting nukes. I, I miss just 
trolling kids, pissing them off and getting nuked, so... The sooner I decide to do this open lobby, the better. And I get a three piece. And I have a chocolate biscuit with that. No, I don't get the three piece and the biscuit. And so we kind of ruin the nuke dance, but I will. Right one for five, hope you enjoyed the life history. And I shall let you know when your lobby's up and coming. I will upload a video actually. And I forgot to mention my prom was in year 11, or I might have done. I will try and get some pictures for another video to just put at the end of the video of me and how I looked at the prom and stuff. This is Bright145 signing out. Peace, guys.